<coughs> we'd like to welcome you all today as we have a word of encouragement for all of you, the great love of God for all of you. And we Hoy vamos a darle bienvenida, queremos dar una palabra de ánimo para todos ustedes que lo queremos mucho. Yesterday we celebrated the 100th birthday of John Paul II. Hemos celebrado los 100 años de Juan Pablo II, el día lunes. And his opening words after being elected Pope struck us in our heart. Las palabras que había dicho después de ser escogido Papa había tocado nuestros corazones. Be not afraid, open up your hearts to Christ. No tengan miedo de abrir sus puertas a Cristo. John Paul II was a person that was near to people and loved them dearly. Juan Pablo II estaba una persona que estaba cerca de, del pueblo de Dios y los amaba mucho. Right now that we're far from you in space, we're near to you in our hearts and love you dearly. Dado que nosotros estamos lejos de usted en forma de distancia geográfica, lo queremos mucho. In your homily, did you tell them the story about what happened in Boston? In La Predica, uh, no. I'll tell it to okay. them. Almost this close to This closest that John Paul II had to people. We had an interesting example in Boston with a seminarian many years ago. Tuvimos una experiencia como un seminarista en Boston hace muchos años. He was a friendly guy from Chicago. Era un muchacho muy amistoso de Chicago. And Cardinal Law was visiting the seminary. Cardinal Law de Boston estaba visitando nuestro seminario. And the Trinity Seminarian said to Cardinal Law, Is it true? El seminarista amistoso hizo una pregunta a Cardinal Law, ¿Es cierto esto? That you have a red phone in your office. Que tú tienes un teléfono rojo en tu oficina. That's a direct line to John Paul II. Que tiene una línea directa a Juan Pablo II. Cardinal Law looked at him in disbelief. <laughs> el, el Cardinal lo veía incredulo. He said, son, you're going places. <laughs> Dice que joven, usted va a subir rápido. One of the formators said, on one way, take it back home. <laughs> el formador en Boston dijo, sí, sí, una, un viaje a Chicago sin vuelta. <laughs> <laughs> But we want that nearness to you. We miss you. We hope to see you soon. Now today's gospel is very powerful. Queremos estar mucho. We serve you. Said it's most point of perceiver. El evangelio de hoy es muy fuerte. It's the fourth time that our Lord talks about the Holy Spirit in the Gospel of the Last Supper. Es la cuarta vez que Jesús habla del Espíritu Santo en el contexto de la última cena. He talks five times about the greatness of the Holy Spirit. Jesús habla cinco veces de la grandeza del Espíritu Santo en la última cena. So we're going to ask you to join us. Le vamos a invitar de estar con nosotros. In a novena to the Holy Spirit. Nosotros vamos a hacer una novena al Espíritu Santo. Starting Thursday tomorrow. Empezando jueves mañana. For nine days. For nueve días. And then on Sunday, May the 31st, will be the Feast of the Pentecost. Luego, a mayo 31 de mayo va a ser la fiesta de Pentecostés. In the Acts of the Apostles, it opens with the idea of Mary praying with the Apostles for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Los hechos, los apóstoles empiezan con los apóstoles rezando con María pidiendo la venida del Espíritu Santo. So what we'd like you to do is to pray one rosary, five decades. Queremos que ustedes de rezar el Santo Rosario, cinco misterios. Not asking for money. No estamos pidiendo dinero. And asking for other great things. Ni cosas grandes. Just asking for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Sino pedir por los dones del Espíritu Santo. Which is the gift of love. Es el, el don del amor. The greatest gift of God most high. El don más grande de Dios mismo. So we now look at what the Holy Spirit says. It said today in the Gospel. Vamos a ver lo que dice el Espíritu Santo hoy. El Espíritu Santo dice en el Evangelio. When he comes, the Spirit of Truth, sent by my Father, he will lead you to all truth and tell you what is to come. So I'd like to talk about all truth and to what is to come. 
The great commandment in the Last Supper is love one another as I have loved you. Más grande mandamiento en la última cena es amense como yo los he amado. So let's pray for the gift of loving other people. Vamos a pedir por el don del amor entre nosotros. On the seventh day of the Srinu Novena, Vamos a empezar la novena del Espíritu Santo. Jesus says to a priest, Jesús dice a un sacerdote, Don't think so much of yourself. No pensar demasiado en sí mismo. And I will say that to myself and say to everyone else. Yo diría lo mismo a mí mismo, los demás, de no pensar demasiado en nosotros mismos. Let's think of other people. Vamos a pensar más en otra persona, menos en nosotros mismos. My job is to think of Father Ed, Father Antolini, Father Dave, Father Craig. Mi trabajo es de pensar para Padre Eduardo, para Padre Antolini, para Padre Craig, para Padre David. All the employees. Los empleados. Parishioners, los feligreses, those who are happy, those who are suffering. Los que están felices, los que están sufriendo. I was reading the other day about the death of a martyr. Estaba leyendo otro día la, la muerte de un mártir. John de Brebeuf. John de Brebeuf. He was being tortured and other people were being tortured with him. Estaba atormentado y más personas estaban atormentadas con él. Instead of being concerned about his suffering, he was concerned about how they were doing. In lugar de pensar en su sufrimiento, sus tormentos estaban estaba preocupado de cómo estaban haciendo ellos. So it's good to think of other people of how they're doing. How is my wife doing? My husband, my children, this person, that person. Bueno, pensar en no no nosotros mismos, sino cómo está mi esposa, mis hijos y las otras personas. And, and you do this in silence and in prayer. And the secret is to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and never get angry. The next thing is to put all your confidence in the Mother of God. Our Lord said, I will not leave you orphans. Jesus dijo, no los dejaré huérfanos. He gives us Mary at the foot of the cross. No sea María al pie de la cruz. I carry this prayer to Our Lady of Guadalupe. Yo llevo este retrato de la Virgen Guadalupe. And every time I feel sad, I look at it. Cada vez que me siento triste, lo miro. And I feel better. Y me siento mejor. Okay, the next thing is the Holy Spirit speaks about, He will tell you the things to come. I don't know when they're going to open the church again. The reason why we don't open the church is to protect our people. Because in other churches that were open, the, the virus spread. So we keep praying that soon there'll be some way to control the virus and we can return back to Mass. But in the future, I recommend the following. It's very important that we be very careful with our money. Because we want, we want to help the poor in a big way. Your first job is to help your family. And second is to help your employees. If you don't have enough money to send the church because you're helping your family, you're helping your employees, that's okay. At the same time, I've been deeply touched by the money given to the church. Not only those large donations, but many, many small donations from poor people. No simplemente donaciones grandes, pero muchas, muchas donaciones dadas de gente que no tiene mucho. Let us pray that no one in our parish will go hungry. Vamos a pedir que nadie en nuestra parroquia se quede con hambre. And let us ask that our hunger right now for the Eucharist is so great 
that probably in the next two months, in, the, in a short period of time, the churches will be open. You all can receive communion. So, poder que nesse tempo cresca todavía más nuestro hambre por Jesús en la Santa Comunión que entre uno mes o dos meses y se puede abrir las puertas de las iglesias y empezar a comulgar otra vez. And as the Lord says, you're right now being pruned for great things in the future. Father, our Lord wants St. Peter Chanel to be a, a great place of grace, love, and consolation. Dios quiere que San Pedro Chanel sea un lugar en de gracia, amor, y consolación. That doesn't, just, doesn't mean just the priest, it means you as well. No significa soma de los sacerdotes, significa ustedes también. May God bless you, and may Our Lady love you, and give you great graces in this month of May. Que Dios lo bendiga mediante María en este mes de mayo. Can talk about the retreat we're going to have? Do you want to mention that? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to have a retreat a week from Saturday on the Vigil. Facebook. Okay. Just like we've done in the past, it'll be on the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's a powerful retreat. Vamos a dar un retiro va a ser el sábado antes del día de Pentecostés, el 30 de mayo, sobre los dones del Espíritu Santo. Va a ser un retiro muy poderoso. The Holy Spirit has the power to take a truth of the faith and put it into your heart. El Espíritu Santo tiene la capacidad para tomar la verdad, la verdad de la fe y meterla en tu corazón. When you experience the truth, it's more than just knowing it. Don't experiment this, la verdad. No simple medical conocer la cabeza. So, uh, so I hope that all of you will participate in that retreat. Espero que todos ustedes puedan participar en ese retiro el 30 de mayo o sábado antes de Pentecostés. Give them a blessing. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. We ask that from heaven we be joined by St. John Paul II, who loved California, loved Mexicans in a very special way, and all Americans. Pedimos mediante Juan Pablo II que amaba manera especial los mexicanos y toda la gente. Dios te salve, María, y en el gracia del Señor es contigo. Benita es el fruto de tu ventre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, reza el pecador, el Señor de nuestra muerte. Blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Son, 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 the Son,